What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ethan H with an 8. I'm here again with this video today. I know I ain't posted in a month. You know, I've just been chilling for real. We got the 1.8K. Last video, I was trying to get the 1.5, but we had surpassed that, you know. Got the 1.8K. We trying to get the 2K. I got a giveaway coming up. When I hit 2,000 subs, I'll let y'all know what I'm about to give away. It's going to be three prizes. I know that for sure. New to this channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe. If you fuck with a heartbreak game, like, share, subscribe, man. This is very, this is a very, very special video. Like, these are the first people I would say that really let me know that I can make it as well. Like, flat out. These niggas inspired me so much in high school. Like, I'll be through the hallway listening to these niggas' music. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting ready to go to school. I'm driving to school. I'm listening to these niggas' music. You know, I would say my style came from them, for real. Like, I am Sue, Dave Steezy. Like, my style definitely came from them too, for sure. The group started in 2009, uh, known as the HBK Gang. They all met at Pano. Well, most of them met at Pano. I know a few of the other ones um, didn't go to Pano, but they had this linked up type shit. So they started performing as early as 2011. They performed at the debut release party for the Outfits Like My Bass music video. They dropped a collective project, Gang Forever, in 2013. Amazing album. If you haven't listened to the whole thing, check it out. Jabberwockies did a dance for Never Going Broke. If you haven't seen that, go check that out for sure. So, yeah, the Gang Forever was one of my favorites. That's when I really started, like, getting hip to them. Like, I had got hip around 2013. So, a lot of these niggas is, like, they're they, they really solid right now. Like, I am too. This is before he dropped Sincerely Yours. So, this is around Kill 2. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, more bitches, more gold chains, too. Hard. Wet, too. Hard. You know what I'm saying? Like... Cool, uh, cool John Smop shitty hard. Like, nigga, all this shit I was dropping around that time, nigga, this shit was flame. Like, all of it. So, that's when I around, that's the wrong time I had got, you know, hit was when Game Forever had just dropped. I am Sue. Um, this nigga is a part of the Invasion. Uh, he released numerous mixtapes. Susan Six B, Million Dollar Afro. Uh, he was with Problem. He had did the Million Dollar Afro with Problem. He got the Kill series. He got one, two, and three. I know he... I think he said that he said it was only gonna be a trilogy, so I don't think it's gonna be a fourth one. I'm praying for a fourth one, but the third was hard as fuck. Kill three is flame for sure. He's known for the hook on Love Rants Up, E40's Function, and he was on a Gas Pedal as well. That's when I really like. That's what that, that that's the verse that drew me into him for real. Um, when I first heard it, I was downstairs just on 106 and Park type shit. Came home from school, nigga. I'm like, this nigga going stupid, like, nigga. Come on now, like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, like, I'm about to look into this nigga shit. I was looking into all his music after that. 2009, he rapped, it, uh, rapped under the name Sue. He had changed to I Am Sue because people can search him up on Google type shit. So he's just like, fuck that. He dropped Sue the right thing. Amazing. You know what I'm saying? He got Fast Life on that bitch. Shoot me down. You know what I'm saying? I know what to do with it. Come on now. I'm really hit. I'm really tapped in for real. Uh, he performed on Up. I already talked about that shit. Uh, my favorite songs by I Am Sue, Cancel Plans. Kill One, amazing. That is top tier. Martina off of Sincerely Yours, top tier. Nathalesh off of the Eyes On Me EP, top tier. Whole thing. Whole Eyes On Me. That's my favorite project by him for sure. P. Love grew up in the suburbs of California. He um, he like making beats, you know what I'm saying? Like he kind of inspired him. I had watched the interview. He was hooping type shit. He be hooping too. Oh, bro, this nigga be hooping. Um, I watched the interview on him. He said, Maha Kanye inspired him. This nigga made beats. You know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga, his beats slap. And it's crazy, bro. This nigga really, like, I was just watching the other day. I was on the gram. This nigga got on, on Wild and Out. I'm like, this nigga, like, bro, just seeing that nigga growth is just crazy. Because, like, he really was just chilling for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he really was just chilling. His growth is just crazy, man. That nigga's a superstar for sure. Big ups to P uh, Pilo. Um, my favorite album by him was. Um, what is it? God damn it. I had to go teeth on it. Says Gemini is also a part of the HBK gang. You know, he had gas pedal. That was that's the song I had Jimmy in. I really didn't know he was a part of HBK, but I was definitely rooting for the group because I was like, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm thinking the whole group about to just go like, bro. I'm I'm in Ohio. I'm from Ohio. Like, I'm listening to these niggas. They from LA. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to put niggas on, but everybody be like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know. But it's like, you know, it's respectable. Everybody got their own taste. But I thought these niggas was finna go global. Like, literally global as fuck. 
when I found out that Sage was a uh, part of the HBK game. Another member is Skipper. Wet, too. I had to talk about that earlier. That shit is amazing. Um, he had met them as a um, high school student in Richmond, California. That's my word. One of my favorite songs, Hate Me Now, Handle My Business. Used to work out to both of them songs, them last two. Jay Ant, shout out to Jay Ant, man. He a producer and a rapper. That nigga is fire. Jay Ant, fire. He more so like one of the, he one of the two spiritual niggas in HBK that I would look at it like. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas that really tapped in with they self, you know? That's um, what I, that's the type of vibe I had got from him listening to his music, like Blue Money. You know what I'm saying? Um, which was amazing, like, you know what I'm saying? Like real life, like. Nigga, come on now. And then he got dropped that shit before Hunters was even blue. So that's what's even really crazy for real. My favorite songs by Jay Ant was Push, Big Bitch, RPH, and World Level 3. Dash E. Shout out my Dash E, man. His verse on that bitch was amazing at the uh, at the end. That shit was crazy. Like, come on now. That transition is stupid. Another member is Dave Steezy. That was this nigga, bro, I feel like was the freshest nigga. Like, this nigga had Drip, no cap, bro. Really used to put that shit on, like no faking. Like Dave Stevens definitely put that shit on. My favorite is by him, Fashionably Late, amazing EP, nigga. This shit, crazy. Like this nigga was really ahead, of, like bro. From start to finish, this shit is crazy, my nigga. No cap. Um, NASA, fire. Where you been, man? I used to walk through the hallways with that song playing in the headphones for sure. Another member is Cool John. Shout out Cool John. Uh, he had hosted the Schmop House. Everybody used to come to that bitch. And just basically that. It's cool John to play their music. And Cool John was like, fuck what I am too and shit. I am too. Felt like you won a Grammy when Cool John had played his music at the Schmop House. Everybody was at the Schmop House, you know what I'm saying? And that's how Up Hat got out to the public. Because you play that Schmop House first. DJ started hearing that shit. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just organic as fuck. So the Schmop House was a huge part of HBK's success. They basically just had parties. Cool John's motto was, throw parties, not fish. So it was just positive, you know what I'm saying, positive energy. Shout out Cool John, bro. He brought, he brought positivity to Richmond from what I've seen. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Ohio. I'm on the outside of the camera for But, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, from what I've seen, bro, Cool John definitely one of the realest out there for sure. Um, like I said, Schmop City was amazing. Like, no cap. Next day off of that bitch with I Am Shit, fire. Five panel. That shit was amazing. Shout out, bro. That five panel, I literally love that shit. I ain't gonna cap. Summer Jam was fire too. Uh, another member of the HK game, the last one is Kalani. Everybody know really Kalani for real. If you're watching this, I would expect you to know. Um, she was a part of the game. She's still a part of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm 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 really, really faithful to get game forever too, was because Kalani was just talking about HBK game not too long ago. It had to be like no less than two months ago. Uh, she was just talking about them and she was talking about going on tour with them. So I got high hopes for the shit. You know what I'm saying? Kalani was on Never Going Broke on the vocals. They said it was um, a verse with her shit on it. So somebody got to release that shit. Whoever they, was an engineer that night, got to release that shit. Yeah. Simple. Shout out to Rossi, aka Frank, CJ, Shobanga. D Invasion, Kuya, Chief, JR, and Doggy. And shout out to Grand Productions Media, nigga, because I be watching your shit, my nigga. No cap. The vlogs that you still got on your shit, fire. Shout out, this is HBK TV. Yeah. I'm really tapped in, bro. Grand Productions Media, shout out to you, man. No cap. Real nigga. Shout out, Kuya. Your beats is fire. That was one of my favorite producers. Like, at one of my first. Timbaland is my favorite. He's my favorite, but Kuya Beats was literally second. No cap. Like, I really can say that for you. Shout out Trackademics as well. Thank y'all for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know if y'all like the video or not. More videos are on the way for sure. I'm about to get situated and I'm about to go crazy. Watch this shit. I'm letting y'all know right now. Giveaway at 2K subs. Thank y'all for watching, man. Let me know down below. Like, what's y'all favorite HBK song? You know what I'm saying? I'm about to make a playlist for this shit. And y'all can listen to the HBK songs if y'all not really hit. Or if y'all want to play this, listen to the shit. I'm about to make one for YouTube. Thank y'all for watching, man. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. We out.